In this presentation, we will see the expression for width of depletion region. We will also solve one numerical problem based on it. This is the PN junction diode with no applied bias and because of diffusion we have depletion layer and the width of depletion layer is let's say W subscript D and we have to calculate the value of W subscript D and for this the formula for this the formula is under root under root twice of epsilon by Q in bracket we have 1 by Na plus 1 by Nd Vb so this is the expression for width of depletion layer and the derivation is not important in this course you only have to remember this formula and we will use it directly in the numerical problems in this formula you can see we have Vb Vb is barrier potential so if you want to calculate width of depletion layer you must know the formula for Vb that is the barrier potential epsilon is electrical permittivity epsilon is electrical electrical permittivity and it is equal to it is equal to epsilon r epsilon naught now epsilon r is the relative permittivity this is relative permittivity or it is also called as dielectric constant dielectric constant epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space or vacuum Permi of vacuum and if you have this two you can easily calculate the electrical permittivity of the given material for silicon for silicon the permittivity the permittivity is equal to 1.04 into 10 raised to power minus 12 farad per centimeter this is value for electrical permittivity in case of silicon semiconductor and if you have germanium semiconductor for germanium semiconductor the permittivity is equal to 1.12448 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 12 farad per centimeter and this information will be given in the problem so you don't have to worry about it you only have to use this directly in the given formula Q is the charge of one electron and it is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb Na is acceptor concentration and D is donor concentration now we will move to numerical problem in this numerical problem we have to consider a silicon PN junction we will consider a silicon PN junction at a room temperature and it is doped at Na is equal to 10 raised to power 16 so Na is equal to 10 raised to power 16 per centimeter cube Nd Nd is equal to 10 raised to power 17 10 raised to power 17 per centimeter cube and intrinsic carrier density is 1.5 into 10 raised to power 10 so Ni intrinsic carrier density is 1.5 into 10 raised to power 10 per centimeter cube and we have to calculate the width of depletion region so we have to calculate WD now the first thing you have to do is to find out is to find out the barrier potential that is VB and it is given by it is given by VT natural log in bracket n a n d by n i square so this is the formula for barrier potential and i have taken the same numerical problem from the last lecture and we have already calculated the value for v b here v t is 0 0.026 because we are calculating at room temperature and once you solve this you will get 0 0.757 volts as the value of barrier potential now we will put this in formula for in formula for width of depletion layer 
and WD is equal to under root under root twice of epsilon by Q in bracket we have 1 by NA plus 1 by ND multiplied by VB so this is the formula for WD we have VB VB is equal to 0 0.757 volts and epsilon and epsilon is equal to 1.04 into 10 raised to power minus 12 farad per centimeter this is because we are using silicon pn junction so we have epsilon q is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 na is 10 raised to power 16 and d is 10 raised to power 17 so we have everything and we will proceed further to solve this under root under root 2 multiplied by epsilon is 1.04 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 12 divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 and in bracket we have 1 by 10 raised to power 16 plus 1 by 10 raised to power 17 and we will multiply this by the barrier potential 0 0.757 0 0.757 2 multiplied by 1.04 is 2.08 and when we divide it by 1.6 we will have we will have 1.3 you can cross check it by using your scientific calculator 2.08 divided by 1.6 is equal to 1.3 so we have 1.3 multiplied by 10 raised to power 7 because 10 raised to power minus 12 divided by 10 raised to power minus 19 is 10 raised to power 7 and we can write this as 10 raised to power minus 16 plus 10 raised to power minus 17 multiplied by 0 0.757 in next step in next step I will multiply 1.3 and 0 0.757 I will use the scientific calculator 1.3 multiplied by 0 0.757 and it is equal to 0 0.9841 0 0.9841 multiplied by 10 raised to power 7 and from 10 raised to power minus 16 and 10 raised to power minus 17 I will take 10 raised to power minus 17 as common so here I'm left with 10 and here I'm left with 1 and 10 raised to power minus 17 is common now 10 plus 1 is 11 10 plus 1 is 11 and we will multiply 11 by 0 0.9841 so let's do this we will multiply 0 0.9841 with 11 and this will give us 10.8251 10.8251 and 10 raised to power 7 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 17 is 10 raised to power minus 10 and the next step we will solve under root 10.8251 so under root under root 10.8251 is equal to 3.290 3.290 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 5 under root 10 raised to power minus 10 is 10 raised to power minus 5 and this is in centimeter so the width of depletion layer is equal to 3.290 into 10 raised to power minus 5 centimeter or we can write it as we can write it as 0 0.3290 micrometer and we have calculated this we have calculated this at room temperature we have calculated this at room temperature and uh, generally the width of depletion layer in case of silicon for silicon 
lies in the range 0 0.1 micrometer width of depletion layer to 1 micrometer this is the range for silicon and uh, the value we have obtained in this lecture is also for no applied bias applied bias because when you forward bias the diode or reverse bias the diode the depletion layer the width of depletion layer changes so this is for no applied bias and it is calculated at room temperature 